A new wonderland has been discovered, the wonderland of Gaspé. A motor trip from Montreal through Trois-Rivières and Quebec and around the peninsula over the recently completed highway is full of breathtaking scenic wonders. A tour revealing glimpses into the daily life of the French-Canadian habitats. There are only a few cities in the world which have about them that certain indefinable something to set them apart from the rest. Montreal, a blend of the old world and the new, is one of these. Well connected with all parts of the continent, it is an ideal point from which to visit other parts of the province of Quebec. At the junction of the St. Maurice and the St. Lawrence rivers lies Trois-Rivières, the second oldest city in Canada, which was founded in 1634. Quebec, the birthplace of American civilization, lives in the memory of the past and raises monuments to the heroes of New France. The spirit of the old world is found on every side. The Saint Louis and Kent Gates are reminders that Quebec is still a walled city, the only one in America north of Mexico. The old parliament buildings, steeped in tradition, house the lawmakers of the province. Ships from all corners of the earth call it Quebec's harbor. The Quebec Bridge, with its beautiful driveway approaches, opens the way to the rugged Gaspé Peninsula. Along the trail of the winding highway, old Quebec is seen at its most picturesque. At Rivière du Loup, once an old seigneury, a gleaming cascade tumbles past the modern powerhouse. Through pleasant cultivated valleys dotted with farms and quaint little towns, a country rich in verdant fields and low rolling hills, the highway winds towards the lower St. Lawrence, the Metapedia Valley and Bay des Chaleurs. At Metapedia, a highway kiosk looks out over the broad expanse of beautiful landscape where thickly wooded hills surround the street. This district is famed for its fishing, and Gaspé salmon is known the world over. Here the sportsman is in his element. In a country so rich in game, it is only natural that the tanning of hides should be an important industry. Many of the natives are engaged in this pursuit. The Indians of the peninsula are very few, but an industrious lot, and they keep themselves busy making wicker articles. They can fashion these things very rapidly and with amazing skill. Another native industry is the weaving of homespun material. This is done with spinning wheel and hand loom. Wood carving is a rather unique occupation, but to realize the expertness of the carvers, one need only watch the fanciful little figures appear almost miraculously out of a block of wood. The French-Canadian habitant is a pious person. The celebration of the Mass and other church festivals are very important events to him. Cod fishing is the Gaspé Peninsula's greatest single industry. It is a business that started nearly 400 years ago when the first settlers were fisher folk from France and the Channel Islands. They came over to investigate the rich fishing banks of the New World. Salmon, herring, mackerel, and lobster are also caught. The 
The codfish are split open, cleaned, and dried in the sun until they're just as hard as boards. Then they're stored in large piles looking like inverted pine cones and covered with birch bark. Perse is the Piaz de Resistance of the peninsula. The world famed Roche Perse standing in splendid isolation with its massive arch is a never tiring spectacle. Bonaventure Island, lying near the Great Rock, is a bird sanctuary, and the birds certainly know it. They flock here in vast legions and add to the beauty of the red cliffs as they hover and wheel above. From Perse to Gaspe, the Falls Road leads through mountainous country of breathtaking beauty. History records the fact that the Bay of Gaspe was the earliest known region in Canada, having been the first point touched by Jacques Cartier in 1534. Now on its shores there stands a bustling and industrious town. A cross has been erected to the memory of Cartier in commemoration of the 400th anniversary of his landing at the entrance to the harbor. From Gaspe town along the north coast of the peninsula, the country becomes even more rugged and imposing in its grandeur. Shipbuilding is still carried out along the lines of the Habitants Norman and Breton ancestors. Metal nails and spikes are very seldom used. For that matter, the whole country might be a bit of old Britain. The new and the old meet here in surprising contrast, and yet they blend in perfect harmony. Popular and fashionable, Matisse Beach is the most northerly summer resort in eastern America. The beach tempts the lazy sunbathers, while golf, tennis, and fishing attract the more energetic. At St. Flavie, the connecting point of the highway which runs around the peninsula, the end of the Gaspe circuit is reached. On the way back to Quebec, the highway passes through Father Point, where incoming ships pick up their pilots to navigate the St. Lawrence channels. The pride of the great transatlantic passenger fleet use this fine inland waterway, which gives them the shortest route to Europe. From Levis, the ferry completes the traveler's journey to Quebec.
And so the Peninsula Tour comes to a close with a desire to come back soon and explore in more detail this wonderland of gas. Thank you.